Boston Scientific's Heart Connect system enables real-time sharing of the Latitude Programming System, Model 3300. When a patient visits the clinic for a device check or reprogramming and needs troubleshooting assistance, the clinician can use the Heart Connect system to allow a remote person to view the programmer screen and communicate with the local user. Annotations can be made directly on the shared programmer screen by local and remote users. With real-time guidance, the clinician can complete the device check and program as needed. The Heart Connect system streamlines your process by enabling your team to instantly share information on the programmer screen with other healthcare providers and or Boston Scientific representatives. This video will walk you through the steps to set up and use your Heart Connect system. Two users are needed for a successful Heart Connect call, local and remote. Local users are healthcare professionals who are currently with the patient and using the Model 3300 programmer. The Heart Connect app needs to be installed and registered. Only the local users can initiate the online meeting and share the video display. All local users must be capable of using the programmer correctly and meet the level of proficiency for a programmer's intended purpose. Remote users can connect via laptop, desktop, tablet, or phone. Once they are signed up and logged in, they can accept an online meeting, view the programmer screen, and audio or video conference depending on connectivity. The main components of the Heart Connect system are the Model 3300 Latitude Programming System, an internet connection, the Heart Connect app set up via BSC representative, and a supported microphone and speaker. Setting up the Heart Connect system. The Heart Connect system incorporates security measures for protection of patient data and system integrity. The online meeting, including any images being transmitted, is encrypted to ensure patient information and device data are protected. There are three network connectivity options, Ethernet, wireless, and cellular adapter. Please select your preferred option, considering which will provide you with the best quality and responsiveness of audio, video, and display information that is shared in an online meeting. If more than one option is connected or enabled, the priority is given first to Ethernet, then Wi-Fi, and lastly, the cellular adapter. The Ethernet port on the Model 3300 programmer accommodates an RJ45 Ethernet port connector. It is designed for local area networking or LAN use only. Ethernet connectivity is the most reliable connectivity option based on the bandwidth needed for the Heart Connect system. To access, navigate to Utilities and then to the Network Setup tab. There you will find the Ethernet and Proxy tab. Contact the clinic or hospital local network administrator and view the Network and Connectivity Operators Manual on bostonscientific.com IFU for complete details on how to use the Ethernet and proxy capabilities. Another more portable internet option is Wi-Fi. To enable Wi-Fi, select Utilities, Network Setup, then the Wireless tab, and simply check Enable Wi-Fi. The programmer will scan for all available networks. Select the desired network by clicking the Details button to the left of the network name. Within the Details screen, enter the network password for the secure connection. An alias name can also be entered. To connect to this network automatically when it is in range, check the Automatically Join This Network box. Click Save to remember these settings and then Connect. Status will reflect once connected. The last connectivity option is the Model 6205 Cellular Adapter, which can be ordered by contacting your Boston Scientific representative. Attach the adapter to the cellular cable 
and then connect the cable into a USB port on the programmer. Navigate to Utilities, Network Setup, and then select the Cellular Adapter tab. Click the Enable Cellular Adapter checkbox. The programmer will search for the Model 6205 cellular adapter. Once found, it will connect and status will reflect the connection. The cellular strength is in the upper left of the programmer screen and will appear solid once connected. If blinking, the connection is being established. It is important to note that HeartConnect requires a 3G or higher cellular connection. Variations in quality of the cellular signal strength can affect the quality and responsiveness of audio, video, and Model 3300 programmer display information shared in an online meeting. Now that you have an internet connection, connect the external USB speaker and microphone into a USB port on the programmer. To access the Heart Connect application, navigate to Utilities and then the Heart Connect tab. To add contacts, click the Meet Now button on the Heart Connect main screen. Press the Details button next to Edit and click the Details button next to Add Contact Email Address. Once you enter the remote user's email address, press Accept Changes. The remote user will receive an email invitation. The user will be added to your contact list. When the user has accepted the invitation and is logged in to the remote application, the user will show gold in color and be able to receive calls. Note, if no internet connection is active, when pressing the Meet Now button, you will see a screen that says, The Heart Connect application experienced a network error. Please check your network connection. Remote users access the Heart Connect remote software application on their own computing device. A user account is needed to sign in to the Heart Connect application. Once complete, the remote user can receive meeting requests or join existing meetings. To create a user account, go to heartconnect.bostonscientific.com and select Sign Up. Enter email address and click Sign Up. Confirm your email address and select Sign Up. Confirmation message will be sent to the email address provided. Confirm the account activation by using the link in the email message. Then enter the required account information to complete the account setup. Accepting contact invitations. A local user using the HeartConnect system can add remote users to a list of contacts for the purpose of connecting with remote users in online meetings. When a remote user is invited, an email is sent to the remote user requesting acceptance of the invitation. To accept the contact invitation, select the link provided in the email message. This will open a web page for the HeartConnect system. Log in using the user account created. An indication will be given that the invitation was accepted. Remote users will also need to install the HeartConnect system software. To install on a mobile device, navigate to the appropriate App Store and locate Heart Connect. For Microsoft Windows installation, download through heartconnect.bostonscientific.com download. To receive online meeting calls from the local user, ensure you are logged in to the Heart Connect application. A few key items that you should be aware of. The local user must know how to use the connected medical equipment correctly because delays or loss of network communication can occur at any time. If the local user is too reliant on a remote user, lost or delayed network communication could result in harm to the patient. 
The Pacing System Analyzer, PSA, application can be initiated after a HeartConnect meeting has started. If a HeartConnect meeting is in progress and the local user starts or ends a patient session, the online meeting ends and the user must start a new HeartConnect meeting. Be sure to end a HeartConnect meeting before using functions that remove access from the top bar of the programmer screen. When these functions are active, a HeartConnect meeting continues and cannot be ended. A few examples are electrocautery and MRI modes, or if a modal dialog is displayed on the screen, like out of range, change device mode, etc. To start a meeting, the local user should interrogate the patient's implanted device, if that is the detail they wish to share with the remote user. To access the HeartConnect application, navigate to Utilities and then the HeartConnect tab. Press the Meet Now button from the HeartConnect home screen. Select the desired contact as well as the audio option. When the USB speaker and microphone is plugged in, the programmer audio will be selected by default. If the user wishes to use a different form of audio connection, select Join by Phone. At that time, they can use the HeartConnect phone number and meeting ID to join. Press the Call button, read the terms, and agree to start the call. The screen indicates that the contacts are being called. The programmer will also display who accepts and or declines a meeting invitation, as well as if there is no response. The remote user will need to accept the HeartConnect call. When the remote user accepts the call, the programmer screen will be shared, as shown by the blue blinking double arrow button at the top of the programmer screen. An audio and or video conference, if selected, is starting using a Zoom application. Hello, thanks for using Boston Scientific's HeartConnect system. My name is Russ. Can we start with the patient's first and last name followed by their date of birth? Jamie Johnson, May 5, 1978. Well, thank you. How can I assist you today? My doctor wants the device to beep if there are any out of range lead impedances, but I can't seem to find where to turn that on. Oh, we can definitely assist you in navigating to that feature. Can I ask you please to close out the HeartConnect uh, screen and then navigate to the Summary tab? Annotation can be made by the users. Remote users will need to tap the More or View Options menu at the top of their screen and then tap Annotate to bring up the annotation menu. A local user can use the annotation feature by tapping the blue pencil on the top of the programmer screen and then touching the screen where they want to provide the annotation. Touch the pencil again in order to annotate on another location. From there, hit the Setup tab. There you will see Beep went out of range. Please turn those from off to on. And then just hit Program and you're all set. Great, thank you for your assistance. Oh, anytime, you have a great day. Once the call is complete, there are three ways to end a HeartConnect online meeting. One, press the Meeting in Progress, blue blinking arrows button, and press Confirm. Two, from the HeartConnect main screen, press the Manage Meeting button, click the End Call button, then press Confirm. Three, if you are sharing your screen during a patient session, press the End Session button, then press End Session in the confirmation. You've now learned what the HeartConnect system is, the users needed for a successful call, how to set up, install, and use the system. How can the HeartConnect system change how you support your patients? Empower your team to provide important patient care more efficiently. For more information, call your local Boston Scientific representative or call Boston Scientific Technical Services at 1-800-CARDIAC. Instructions can be found in the Model 3300 Heart Connect System Instructions for Use, located at bostonscientific.com ifu.